Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. Abiola David is my name. This is going to be my second video on the newly released Lambda function. So in this tutorial, I want to see how to create a custom and reusable sum between month with combination of the sum ifs, the let and the lambda function. So let's proceed. Now, based on our sample data sets, we have these six records, and of course, this data is formatted as an Excel table. So in the table design context, you open tab, we have provided transaction underscore record as a descriptive table name. Now let's come to cell I2 and deploy the new let function that is generally available to Office 365 and M365 for Excel. Equal sign let I press my tab key. Name one is going to be start of month. So you can actually use any variable you want. Start of month, comma. So the value is going to be the value in cell H2. Now, because I'm going to copy the formula across, I need to make the H2 to be mixed cell reference. So I'm going to press F4 key, one, two, three. So we've we'll logged down the column H, comma, and we want end of month, comma. And in this case, I'm going to use the same value, but I'm going to deploy the EO month function. Then I click on cell H2, we make it to be mixed cell reference also by pressing F4 key, one, two, three and comma. So for the month, we want to stay in the current month, which is going to be zero. And I close that up, comma. So for the name three, I'm going to use unique cars, comma. And I want to reference the value in cell I1. Now I'm going to make that to be a relative mix cell reference also by locking down the row one, F4 key, one, two, comma. And then I need, um, Cars column. Now, this way I'm going to introduce the sum ifs function. So let's go ahead. Sum ifs. Press my tab key. Sum is going to be this. This amount column comma criteria range one. We select our date comma. And for the criteria one, I want to check is that value greater than or equal to. Then we deploy the ample sums and then I recall this by passing this start of month. Start of month, comma, criteria range two is going to be the same date, comma. I want to check whether it is less than or equal to then the ample sign sign. We want the end of month, comma, and the criteria range three is going to be this cast column, comma, and criteria three is going to be the unique cast. Okay, so. That's fine. Then I close my sum ifs and we are back to the let. Okay, comma. So for the calculation or name five, this one I'm going to just combine this value here together using this cast column that we just passed in. So let's proceed on how to do that. I want sum function, press my tab key, and I want the cast column. Close my sum rather, and we use last close parenthesis to close the let. So when I deploy control enter, boom, it worked. Control C, let's copy and select this range and control V. Amazing. This works perfectly. Now let's all right, let's go ahead and build the lambda formula. So I'm going to come right to this cell I2, go to the formula bar, control A to copy to select control C to copy and escape. Now let's come to cell I17 equal sign lambda comma. Now I'm going to create some parameters that I'm going to pass in into the length formula. So the first one is going to be date, follow the pass and sales amount, then comma and we paste the formula. Let's get rid of this equal sign. Now let's go ahead and pass in all these lambda parameters into this. Let's so let's come here. The sum range, so that's going to be sales amount, the date, which is criteria range one. That's going to be for the date parameter, and it's going to be date also. And for this cars, which is criteria range three, and that's going to be for the cars lambda parameter. And that's all we need to do. So let's close the lambda now to recall. 
repeat our formula okay the columns so i'm going to just open parentheses and i want to select this date comma the cars and of course the sales amount based on these three defined parameters so close and let's do control enter boom it worked perfectly control c let's just paste here control v amazing it worked perfectly all right now let's go ahead and create the sum between months custom formula so i'm going to come to the formulas tab you can click on the name manager or the defining or you can even deploy control f3 and that opens the name manager dialog box so i'm going to click on new and now the name of the custom function is going to be sum between month okay and it's going to be within the scope so let's just put in a comment oh, that's not compulsory say sum of the values between months okay now i'm going to just come here and paste and that's all we need to do click ok and close this now let's go on ahead and we use this function that we just created equal sign sum between months press my tab key boom and I click on this and amazing that's a good trick and that gives us 16,885,800 now I'm going to just copy this and let's select our range okay and let's control V amazing we achieve the same outcome now this is more you know readable and very easy to understand now you can actually even see that it doesn't even require an input value we can even put an input value that is to select this date the cast and the six amount columns but it still work fine it's a good trick i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give some thumbs up subscribe to your youtube channel and share with your friends because the best is yet to come thank you and bye for